Hello, everyone, and welcome to Understand and Apply Concepts of Confidentiality, Integrity, and Availability. We are going to talk about the CIA triad, AAA services, and protection mechanisms. Security management concepts and principles are inherent elements in the security policy and solution deployment. They define the basic parameters that we need for a secure environment. They also define the goals and objectives that both policy designers and system implementers have to have in order to create a secure solution. It's important for you to understand these items thoroughly. In this section, I'm going to talk about a range of topics related to the governance of security for global enterprises as well as smaller businesses. Security has to start somewhere. Often that somewhere is the list of most important security principles. In such a list, confidentiality, integrity, and availability are usually present because these are typically viewed as the primary goals and objectives of a security infrastructure. They are so commonly seen as security essentials that they are referenced by the term CIA triad. Security controls are typically evaluated on how well they address these three core information security tenets. Overall, a complete security solution should adequately address each of these tenets that you see before you. Vulnerabilities and risks are also evaluated based on the threat they pose against one or more of the CIA triad principles. Thus, it is a good idea for you to be familiar with these principles and use them as guidelines for judging all things related to security. These three principles are considered the most important within the realm of security. However important each specific principle is to a specific organization depends on the organization's security goals and requirements and on the extent to which the organization's security might be threatened. The first principle of the CIA triad is confidentiality. Confidentiality is the concept of the measures used to ensure the protection of the secrecy of data, objects, or resources. The goal of confidentiality protection is to prevent or minimize unauthorized access to data. Confidentiality focuses security measures on ensuring that no one other than the intended recipient of a message receives it or is able to read it. Confidentiality protection provides a means for authorized users to access and interact with resources, but it actively prevents unauthorized users from doing so. A wide range of security controls can provide protection for confidentiality, including but not limited to encryption, access controls, and steganography. If a security mechanism offers confidentiality, it offers a high level of assurance that data, objects, or resources are restricted from unauthorized subjects. If a threat exists against confidentiality, unauthorized disclosure could take place. An object is the passive element in a security relationship, such as files, computers, network connections, and applications. A subject is the active element in a security relationship, such as users, programs, and computers. A subject acts upon or against an object. The management of the relationship between subjects and objects is known as access control. In general, for confidentiality to be maintained on a network, data has to be protected from unauthorized access, use, or disclosure while in storage, in process, and in transit. Unique and specific security controls are required for each of these states of data, resources, and objects to maintain confidentiality. Numerous attacks focus on the violation of confidentiality. These include capturing network traffic, stealing password files, as well as social engineering, court scanning, shoulder surfing, eavesdropping, sniffing, escalation of privileges, and so on. Violations of confidentiality are not limited to direct intentional attacks. Many instances of unauthorized disclosure of sensitive or confidential information are the result of human error, oversight, or just plain old ineptitude. Events that lead to confidentiality breaches include failing to properly encrypt a transmission, failing to fully authenticate a remote system before transferring data, leaving open otherwise secure access points, accessing malicious code that opens a back door, misrouted faxes, documents left on printers, or even walking away from an access terminal while data is displayed on the monitor. Confidentiality violations can result from the action of and an end user or system administrator. They can also occur because of an oversight in a security policy or a misconfigured security control. Numerous countermeasures can help ensure confidentiality against possible threats. They include encryption, network traffic padding, 
strict access control, rigorous authentication procedures, data classification, and extensive personnel training. Confidentiality and integrity depend on each other. Without object integrity, in other words, the inability of an object to be modified without permission, confidentiality cannot be maintained. Other concepts, conditions, and aspects of confidentiality include what you see on the screen here. Sensitivity refers to the quality of information which could cause harm or damage if disclosed. Maintaining confidentiality of sensitive information helps to prevent harm or damage. Discretion is an active decision where an operator can influence or control disclosure in order to minimize harm or damage. Criticality is the level to which information is mission critical in its measure of criticality. The higher the level of criticality, the more likely the need to maintain the confidentiality of the information. High levels of criticality are essential to the operation or function of an organization. Concealment is the act of hiding or preventing disclosure. Often, concealment is viewed as a means of cover, obfuscation, or distraction. A related concept to concealment is security through obscurity, which is the concept of attempting to gain protection through hiding, silence, or secrecy. While security through obscurity is typically not considered a valid security measure, it may still have value in some cases. Secrecy is the act of keeping something a secret or preventing the disclosure of information. Privacy refers to keeping information confidential that is personally identifiable or that might cause harm, embarrassment, or disgrace if someone is revealed. Seclusion involves storing something in an out-of-the-way location. This location can also provide strict access controls. Seclusion can help enforcement of confidentiality protections. Isolation is the act of keeping something separate from others. Isolation can be used to prevent commingling of information or disclosure of information. Each organization needs to evaluate the nuances of confidentiality they wish to enforce. Tools and technology that implements one form of confidentiality might not support or allow other forms. The second principle of the CIA triad is integrity. Integrity is the concept of protecting the reliability and correctness of data. Integrity protection prevents unauthorized alterations of data. It ensures that data remains correct, unaltered, and preserved. Properly implemented integrity protection provides a means for authorized changes while protecting against intended and malicious unauthorized activities, such as viruses and intrusions, as well as mistakes made by unauthorized users, such as mistakes or oversight. For integrity to be maintained, Objects must retain their veracity and be intentionally modified by only authorized subjects. If a security mechanism offers integrity, it offers a high level of assurance that the data, the objects, and the resources are unaltered from their original protected state. Alterations should not occur while the object is in storage, in transit, or in process. Thus, maintaining integrity means the object itself is not altered and the operating system and programming entities that manage and manipulate the objects are not compromised. Integrity can be examined from three perspectives. Preventing unauthorized subjects from making modifications. Preventing authorized subjects from making unauthorized modifications, such as mistakes. And maintaining the internal and external consistency of objects so that their data is a correct and true reflection of the real world, and any relationship with any child, peer, or parent object is valid, consistent, and verifiable. For integrity to be maintained on a system, controls must be in place to restrict access to data objects and resources. Additionally, activity logging should be employed to ensure that only authorized users are able to access their respective resources. Maintaining and validating object integrity across storage, transport, and proceeding and processing requires numerous variations of controls and oversight. Numerous attacks focus on the violation of integrity. These include viruses, logic bombs, unauthorized access, errors in coding and applications, malicious modification, intentional replacement, and system backdoors. As with confidentiality, integrity violations are not limited to intentional attacks. Human error, oversight, or ineptitude accounts for many instances of unauthorized alteration of sensitive information. Events that lead to integrity breaches include modifying or deleting files, entering invalid data, altering configurations, including errors in commands, folds, and scripts, introducing a virus, and executing malicious code such as Trojan horses. Integrity violations can occur because of the actions of any user, including administrators. 
They can also occur because of an oversight in a security policy or a misconfigured security control. Numerous countermeasures can ensure integrity against possible threats. These include strict access control, rigorous authentication procedures, intrusion detection systems, object data encryption, hash total verifications, interface restrictions, input function checks, and extensive personnel training. Integrity is dependent on confidentiality. Other concepts, conditions, and aspects of integrity include the following. Accuracy, which means being correct and precise. Truthfulness means being a true reflection of reality. Authenticity means being authentic or genuine. Validity means being factually or logically sound. Non-repudiation, which we'll cover quite a bit in this course, means not being able to deny having performed an action or activity or being able to verify the origin of a communication or event. Accountability means being responsible or obligated for actions and results. Responsibility means being in charge or having control over something or someone. Completeness means having all needed and necessary components or parts. And comprehensiveness means being complete in scope, the full inclusion of all needed elements. The third principle of the CIA triad is availability, which means unauthorized subjects are granted timely and uninterrupted access to objects. Often, availability protection control supports sufficient bandwidth and timeliness of processing as deemed necessary by the organization or situation. If a security mechanism offers availability, it offers a high level of assurance that the data, the objects, and the resources are accessible to authorized subjects. Availability includes efficient uninterrupted access to objects and prevention of denial of service attacks. Availability also implies that the supporting infrastructure, including network services, communications, and access control mechanisms, is functional and allows authorized users to gain authorized access. For availability to be maintained on the system, controls must be in place to ensure authorized access and an acceptable level of performance. To quickly handle interruptions, to provide for redundancies, to maintain reliable backups, and to prevent data loss or destruction. There are numerous threats to availability. These include device failure, software errors, and environmental issues like heat, static, flooding, power loss, and so on. There are also some forms of attacks that focus on the violation of availability, including DOS attacks, object destruction, and communication interruptions. As with confidentiality and integrity, violations of availability are not limited to intentional attacks. Many instances of unauthorized alteration of sensitive information are caused by human error, oversight, or ineptitude. Some events that lead to availability breaches include accidentally deleting files, overutilizing a hardware or software component, underallocating resources, and mislabeling or incorrectly classifying objects. Availability violations can occur because of the actions of any user, including administrators. They can also occur because of an oversight in a security policy or a misconfigured security control. Numerous countermeasures can ensure availability against possible threats. These include designing intermediary delivery systems properly, using access controls effectively, monitoring performance and network traffic, using firewalls and routers to prevent denial of service attacks, implementing redundancy for critical systems, and maintaining and testing backup systems. Most security policies, as well as business continuity planning, focus on the use of fault tolerance features at the various levels of access, storage, and security, that is disk, server, or site, with the goal of eliminating single points of failure to maintain availability of critical systems. Availability depends on integrity and confidentiality. Without integrity and confidentiality, availability cannot be maintained. Other concepts, conditions, and aspects of, of availability include the following. Usability, which is the state of being easy to use or learn or being able to, un to be understood and controlled by a subject. Accessibility means the assurance that the widest range of subjects can interact with the resource regardless of their capabilities or limitations. And timeliness means being prompt on time within a reasonable time frame or providing low latency response.